Hello. It's May, the cherries are blossoming, the bees are birding, and we are predicting an amazing May basho. Salt were thrown. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Doyo here on Mr. J Wag's channel. In this thrilling episode, we are going to be making our bolder -er predictions for the May Basho. Quick channel update, those of you who've been asking about the Patreon, we are in process for it. I am just making sure I can deliver on the merch I will be promising you, so I am currently reaching out to an artist to see what their delivery schedule might be, but I'll be getting to you soon, by the end of spring. And as it is a prediction episode, it is time for Hagakiyoi, our special segment where I answer questions from you, the people, about myself, about sumo, about what I think about sumo. And this Hagakiyoi comes from viewer Turtle, who asks, when I fell in love with sumo. Well, this is a great question, because like, as we all know, I started watching in late 2016, uh, watching Kakuryu's, I believe, third Yu show was where I sort of came in midway. Uh, my falling in love with sumo wasn't like a singular moment, like a thunderbolt, like, oh, now I love you, my sumo, mi amor. Uh, it was sort of just like, uh, we became good friends, and then eventually it was like, oh, yeah, hey, we're, we're in love. Nice. Uh, it was the beginning of 2017, and that was an amazing first three basho, especially for someone just getting into a sport. First of all, Kisuno Sato ends up winning his first tournament, beating Hakuho, getting the Yokozuna. It was like, what? That's amazing. Then Kisuno Sato comes back, wins his second one in a row after hurting his shoulder, like this real, like, 80s sports movie kind of stuff. So, of course, like, I'm very hooked on that story, but I'm like, Kisuno Sato's amazing. What's going to happen to him? Will he be back? Well, not next tournament, but then Hakuho walked in with a Zen show you show and I'm like oh this is what everyone's been talking about it was at that point where I realized sumo fandom is sort of like just this giant river that's been going back for 600 years and will keep going long after any of us are gone uh, and watching sumo is just being able to witness just a tiny segment of that river flow by you in real time and Hakuho was the first rikishi to really give me a sense of that history and sort of what that meant. Oddly enough, it took like the greatest personality and Yokozuna in sumo to make me realize sumo is so much larger than any one person. So Turtle, for the excellent question, you get a sumo shout out. You are going to pick the flannel on a future episode and you will get the Mr. Jaywags sumo song of your choice. So please email me at mrjwags at gmail.com so I know where to send said song and you will get everything that is coming to you from a contest perspective. So, May Basho's coming up. Got some thoughts. thoughts. So the first two Basho of the year were very, very unpredictable. I am predicting that this is a Basho that is gonna go a little more to ranking, a little more to plan. We're not going to have a surprise first Yusho winner, so we're just gonna get that spoiler out the way. We will start our predictions in the lower divisions this time. My bold prediction is that the Makusha to Yusho will go to a wrestler who has spent time in the Makauchi division. Not that bold, because you figure someone who's down there is either coming back from an injury or is coming back from some sort of Asanoyama-esque mistake. But no, it won't be Asanoyama this time. He's still got one more tournament in the penalty box, and then he'll be working his way up, I believe, from Sandanme. But if we look at the top of the Makusha de Banzake, we see old friend Tomakaze coming back from injury, and also Akisayama working his way back from the fractured jaw. So, I would not be surprised if either of those two gentlemen pull out the Makusha de Yusho over some of the young hotness, including channel favorite Kin Bozan. The bolder -er prediction is that the Jirio Yusho is going to go to someone who's never been in the Makauchi division. Which is weird because Jirio is right now full of former Makauchi wrestlers. Like, the top two ranks have got four just people who were recently up in the top division. But I think it's going to go to the young hotness this time. Ah, uh, Kitano Waka or Atami Fuji are ones I have my eyes on. So sorry, Ryuden and Enho. Not this time. And my second bold prediction, speaking of the young hotness, Kota Shoho and Oho are both going to get Kachi Koshi. 
Yeah. Uh, Ojo is back up from Jurio. I have a feeling he's going to do much better this time up. And he's not just right at Magashira 17. He's got a few ranks to, even if he gets a 7 and 8 this time, he's not going to fall back down to Jurio. But I think Akachi Koshi this time. And Kota Shoho. Ah, he is still a little frustrating, but got Akachi Koshi last time. Ah, he's still got a little bit of the Bambi legs. But once he figures out that center of balance, if he figures out that center of balance, I think he is going to take a show. Shodai-esque leap forward in his technique. Could this be the tournament? Probably not, but I do expect Akachi Koshi. The bolder -er prediction? All four of our pixies get Kachi Koshi. That's Ishiura, Midori Fuji, Tobizaru, and Terutsuyoshi. All of them. Ishiura coming back from the injury, if he is at all healthy. I see him doing well at Magashira 16. Midori Fuji back from Jurio. Uh, did incredibly well at Magashira 16 his first time there. And again, Midori Fuji, so much fun to watch because his primary technique is the armpit pull, like the Kata Tsukashi. I know of no one else who that's their primary mode of attack. So look out for some Kata Tsukashi. Midori Fuji, of course, the Shikona meaning mountain of Midori melon liqueur. Feeling good about Terutsuyoshi, Mr. Salty, but Tobizaru, we'll see. That's going to be the closest one. He had been working his way down with quite a few, I think, five consecutive Make Koshi, and then got a really good tournament last time. Can he ride that momentum up? He's right on Maegashira 5, so that's right on the joy level. Uh, and the joy level is going to be a little bit different this time, because I think we're going to have a largely healthy Sanyaku, and we don't have a lot of interstable conflicts this time. Usually we have at least one or two up in the top divisions. Uh, for a while it was like Kisuno Sato, Takeyasu. Uh, recently it's been Hoshoryu and Meisei, or it's been Takakesho, Takenosho, but in this tournament, from Yokozuna down to Maegashira 3, no conflicts. So I think the joy actually may stay relatively stable as long as we don't lose any more people to Kyujo. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Ichi Nojo. Yes, Ichi Nojo is gone. COVID Kyujo, he appears to be healthy. Reports are all good, but it does mean he will not be taking place in the May Basho. So rest up. We will see you for an amazing Nagoya, Ichi Nojo. And a little bit of a change. We are not doing a three-way parlay this time. We are unveiling a new segment, Three Up, Three Down, where I look at the Makauchi Banzuke and I give you three wrestlers who I think are underranked and are going to do very well, and three wrestlers who I think are overranked and are not going to get a winning record. First for Three Up, Ura! Yes, uh, I think we have finally established Ura's true talent level. I don't think he's quite Sanyaku regular material, but I think he's going to bounce up between the joy and just below the joy, and maybe if he gets like a 10 and 5, can jump up and grab a Komosubi slot once or twice, but I think he's just not a physically dominating enough Rikishi to be able to hang out in the Sanyaku. He's a tricky kind of Rikishi, and if the trick doesn't work, then he has to beat someone on power, and I just don't think he's going to be able to do that consistently enough. That said, still love him, and I really love him down to Maegashira 6. I think he's going to get that Kachikoshi. Meisei, Maegashira 13. Ooh, he was clearly not up to speed the last two tournaments, looked really hurt last tournament. If he is at all healthy, he should destroy the Banzage down here and come back very strong. Saw some footage of him at the Interstable practice, looking good. Here's Obe Meisei. Have a great tournament. And oh no show. He's down at Maegashira 5, just below the joy line. I think this means we're probably looking at like a 9 and 6 or 10 and 5 from Onosho. As long as he's not Maegashira 2 or higher, he does great. So, I think he's going to do right here. And now the three down. Mm. Ah, I think Kotoweko is going to get a Makekoshi. Why do I think that? He's ranked at Maegashira 7, and he's never gotten a Kachi Koshi above Maegashira 10. Ever. And also from the Sadogatake Beya, Kotono Waka, I do not see having a good tournament this tournament. I think he's going to do okay, but last time he was up this high, he ended up getting hurt, not doing that well. Obviously, we can blame a lot of that on the injury, but I don't think he's going to take anyone by surprise this time. This is sort of his third time visiting up, if you count last tournament where he was aggressively promoted down the stretch. And I think people are going to be able to game plan for him a bit more. I think eventually... Sanyaku is his ultimate destination, probably a Sekiwake level, but maybe an Ozeki run. But for this tournament, I think he's going to get pushed down a little bit. I expect a Make Koshi. Not a severe one, but like six or seven wins. And another one that hurts me. <sighs> Takeyasu. Yeah. 
sort of similar to Kota Nawaka. I think he did really well last tournament. I think a lot of people were hurt. Teru Nafuji wasn't there. Uh, and although Takayasu, at his best, is really great, I think if in this tournament, because he had such a draining tournament last time, he ends up in a whole bunch of long stamina matches early on, he's just going to fade in the second half even harder than we have before. So I see in this tournament six or seven wins for Takayasu. Not happy about it. Now it's time for Oh Which Way We Going? A segment where we discuss several wrestlers where I think this Basha will be critical in figuring out their future. Which way are they going? First, Takara Fuji. Ah, oh, Takara Fuji. Uh, I, I love this guy so much. He, he's just so based in fundamental defensive sumo, which is great. But it also means, like I just said with Takayasu, he has a lot of very long matches. That's sort of his style. He holds on until you get tired and throws you out of the ring. Uh, he's getting a little bit older. He's losing strength with each Basho. How long are the fundamentals going to hold up? Uh, I think he's low enough now where he gets a, a Kachikoshi and starts bumping his way back up a little bit, but we'll see. Takanosho. Ah, now this is a guy who regularly was up in the high Maegashiras, lower Sonyaku for a while. Had a real bad tournament last tournament. Uh, not so much that he was bad, but it's just he was wrestling up at the top of the ranks and everyone was just a bit better. Now he's at Maegashira 4, so he's still going to be facing a lot of the top rankers. He's still right at that joy level. So, uh, let's see how he does this time. I'm hoping for a bit of a bounce back, but if this is the start of the trek downward, I would also not be surprised. Tochi Notion. Uh, Alright, he finally broke the Makekoshi streak. Do we think he's going to get two winning records in a row? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Now he's turned from like big power guy and a sort of like throw everything at the wall and see what sticks sort of wrestler. That may work for one or two Basho in a row, but the Banzuke is very weird in the middle right now. There isn't a lot of young hotness working their way up. There's like one or two guys, but they seem to be all hanging out at the very top. So in the middle, we have a lot of aging, slightly broken veterans. Can Tochi Notion excel in that group or have they all figured him out? Let's see. And yeah, Chiyo Shoma. He has been fascinating to me over the past year or so. Had a little bit of a run this year and hits a bit of a ceiling. Uh, do we see him come back making an adjustment? Or was that sort of the last gasp of uh, the Chiyo Shoma peak? My fourth bold prediction, both of our Komasubi are going to get Makekoshi. That's Hoshoryu and Daesho. Ah, Daesho, we're gonna learn a lot really fast on how well he's doing this tournament. He's facing Terra Fuji early because he's a Komasubi. So, I think the results of that match are gonna tell us a lot about what Daesho is going to do, but I think this is gonna be one of those tournaments where he fights really well and gets six wins. Hoshoryu, as I've said before, I think this is a learning year. I think a healthy Terra Nafuji and a healthy Takakesho in this tournament, and in fact just general better Ozeki-ness, is going to keep him below eight wins, but it's not going to be a big one. I expect six or seven out of him, and he's going to stay up in the top of the joy. He's not going to fall all the way down. Boulder -er prediction, both of our Seke Wake hold rank, but neither of them get double-digit wins. Yes, our returning champion, Waka Takakage, will not be the first Seki Wake to repeat champion. I mean, if Terra Nafuji couldn't do it on last year's run, I don't think Waka Takakage is going to do it. I think he's probably going to get his regular nine wins, maybe eight. He's not going to surprise anyone this time, and I think people are a lot healthier. Things are going to be a lot tougher up in the Sanyaku this tournament, I think. And Abi, yes, I think people have figured him out, but I think his technique is to the point where he can stay in the top five or six wrestlers in sumo. Abi holds one of the top three ranks in sumo and utterly deserves it. <laughs> now I've alluded to it, but yeah, bold prediction number five, all of our Ozeki don't go Kataban. They get Kachi Koshi. And the bolder Ur prediction, Matake Yumi goes 12 and 3 and gets a share of the Jun Yusho. He's going to build on an excellent Shin Ozeki campaign and be in the Yusho race up until the final couple days. Which leads me to the Yusho pick. Bold prediction, Taka Keisho will get a 12 and 3 in a Jun Yusho. I think he's going to tie Matake Yumi, and I'm just following the math here. He got injured, came back with an 8 and 7, so now mathematically speaking, 12 and 3 June Yusho. It's just science. Now, the bolder er prediction for the Yusho wouldn't have said it was bold, but then the last two Basho happened. Terra Nafuji, 14 and 1, dominant Yusho. Yeah, I expected Terra Nafuji to win four tournaments this year. He didn't win the first two. So, if this prediction is going to happen, it needs to start happening now, and he needs to win out. So, I think it's going to start.
Terran Fuji, I think, was smart last tournament, started feeling bad, obviously in pain, used the Yokozuna privilege that all the other Yokozuna have used. I think he's going to come back strong, and he is going to level the playing field. Thank you for joining us here on the Dojo. If you liked it, please hit like. If you want to get all of the Dojo episodes, please subscribe, because I do not always post every single episode, especially the Quick Strikes, which I will be releasing mid-Basho coming up. So hit subscribe if you want to see all of the amazing sumo content coming up. And of course, our amazing wrap-up episode coming up and finishing up the Shadow of Hakuho after this Basho. Ah, it's happening. Ah. All right, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, and I will see you next time on the Dojo. Yeah.